What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. At the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. At the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, all right? So it's Friday. You know what? I have to give the game status on Fridays, and that's what we're going to do right here, okay? So Ravens versus Browns, what's going on? Who's out? Who's not? Who's going to play, all right? Uh, the big news of the day for the Ravens is J.K. Dobbins has been ruled out, but that's not even really the biggest news. The biggest news is the fact that he's going to need arthroscopic knee surgery. He's going to be forced to miss the next four to six weeks after the surgery. And it could be even longer, honestly, because, you know, you still got to uh, rehab a little bit. Um, and then the Ravens are probably going to him slowly once again. So it's looking like J.K. Dobbins is going to be on the shelf for quite a while for the Ravens. And that's a huge blow. Um, we never really got to see him get fully going this season. And now he has to sit down once again. So we know that J.K. Dobbins wants to play. He wants to be active. So that's, you know, that's, that's just really tough for him, all right? Um, so now we're going to get into the rest of it. Um, I kind of broke up. The rest of the guys are questionable. So I kind of broke it up into two categories. Questionable expected to play and questionable game time decisions, okay? So the questionable expected to play guys, Mark Andrews, he was on the injury report. But he did say uh, today that uh, he expects to play Sunday. You know, he's full goal. He had a full goal in practice. So we're good there with Mark Andrews, all right? Marcus Peters has kind of been a mix between uh, rest and then that quad injury that kind of popped up last week. But it seems as though he's good to go and expected to play. Pat Ricard popped up on an injury record with a injury report, excuse me, with a knee injury. And um, today was kind of his first full day at practice. But since he was a full participant on Friday, you have to imagine that he's going to play on Sunday. OK, uh, Ronnie Stanley did not practice on today, but that's not unusual because he did not practice last week. And we know he played versus the Giants. Uh, sorry, did not practice last Friday, and we know you played versus the Giants on Sunday. So this could probably be the same thing. Not practice on Friday, but go ahead in that game Sunday versus the Browns and go ahead and still play. And we know versus the Giants, he looked pretty daggone good. So I'm excited for Ronnie Stanley. I think he's I think he's back. You know, he's still working through some stuff, but as far as physically being in shape to play games, I think he's back. All right. Now, game time decisions. Uh Rashad Bateman. With a foot injury. He said he feels pretty good, but it's going it's up to Harbaugh whether or not he plays. And that really he means Harbaugh and the training staff and whatever, right? Like that, that's that's what he means by that. So game time decision with, with Rashad Bateman. Are they gonna let him play? Are they going or are they gonna sit him down for another week? We shall see. All right, Ben Cleveland, he's finally back practicing. But uh the last couple of days has been in limited capacity. So we'll see what he's happens uh with there, right? Uh Justin Houston. Also, finally back practicing. He was one of the Ravens' best pass rushers. Probably, probably the best pass rusher on the Ravens while he was out there. Uh, he's finally been back in a limited capacity, so we'll see what happens with him. Probably, like I said, a true game time decision whether or not Justin, a guy like Justin Houston is going to play. So we shall see, all right? Morgan Moses. Now, Morgan Moses is kind of incredible, honestly. We saw him go off on the cart. Then the second half of that same very, that very same game, he's on the sideline, kind of arguing with the coaching staff, training staff, trying to get back into the game. Uh, did not practice on Wednesday, but it's kind of been limited the last couple of days. Uh, so he's a game time decision. I think that Morgan Moses won't play this week. I could very well be wrong. I'm just giving my opinion on that. I don't think he'll play this week. All right. Uh, now, guys that were listed on the injury report, but are 100 percent playing. All right. Uh, Calais Campbell. Uh, pretty much the whole week has been rest. They did put a foot injury on there, but he seems to be fine, ready to go. We know he doesn't need to practice very much. All right. Justice Hill is already back and already going to play. I mean, when Justice Hill went down with that hamstring injury, limping off, uh, st had to having to stop mid run, it looked really, really bad. But he's already back playing. He practiced. He was a full participant in practice this week. He's going into the game with no injury designation. So Justice Hill is completely back, and uh, the Ravens could have had a better time. Like I said, with J.K. going down with that knee surgery, uh, obviously Key Trick is doing his job, doing his work, but they need somebody else too. And Justice Hill is more than capable, as he's shown this season, to be that other guy. All right. Uh, Lamar Jackson, QB1, he was listed on the injury report with a hip injury. That's why he's been kind of late out to practices the last couple of days by like a couple of, like by, I think it's like 15, 20 minutes. He's been kind of late to practice, but he must be getting work on the hip injury while in the locker room. All right. But they said that he's fine. He's full go. He's going to play. So QB1 is going to be going out, out there versus, versus the Cleveland Browns. All right. And last but not least, Jason Pierre-Paul, he didn't practice the entire week. But he pretty much never practices for the Ravens as far as, uh, you know, full team practice. Um, it's pretty much rest for him. So he's good. He's ready to go. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul will be playing. Uh, he's been playing pretty well without practicing. So let's just keep up with the same strategy, right? And um, as far as Bowser or Jabo Edwards, they have not, at the time of this recording, they have not yet been activated. 
that could very well change as far as uh, Bowser and Edwards. Ojabo is probably still a little ways away. Uh, but I don't think they'll be activated for this week. I think the Raiders kind of probably would have got it out there if they were going to activate them. It just hasn't happened. So I'm going to leave it at those guys are not playing. All right. Um, so now it's for the, for the Brown side of it. Let me get to it. All right. Out. Who was who was out right now for the Cleveland Browns? Okay. Denzel Ward, uh, obviously all pro, pro bowl corner. Uh, Wyatt Teller, offensive guard. Joe Haig, offensive tackle. Um, now, who's questionable? Jadavian Clowney and Isaac Rochelle. Now, the big name here, obviously, is Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward being out. He was out last week versus the Patriots. and might have been out the week before as well. Um, this defense gave up a lot of yards to Bailey Zappi um, for the Patriots, all right? They gave up a lot of yards. They could have been focused on the run, but still give up a lot of yards to Bailey Zappi. So this secondary is not the same without Denzel Ward's presence out there on the field. And that shouldn't be any kind of surprise. He's a big time player. So the Ravens had to be able to take advantage of that. Okay. The Davion Clowney is the other big name on here. We know that he can be a game breaker at times. We know that he is a really, really talented player. So him being questionable, we'll see if he plays. We'll see how much he can go if he does play. All right. So those are pretty much the big, big names for the for the Brown side. But what today's game status is really about J.K. Dobbins, man. It's really unfortunate. Has to have that knee surgery. He's going to be out that four to six weeks. And we know that he's chomping at the bit to play. And I know that probably really gutted him to be down like that. Uh, but the Ravens are going to have to make do without him. All right. You know, Ken Drake has stepped up. Um, Justice Hill was playing well before he went down for a couple weeks. So, And Gus Edwards is on the way back. The Ravens have help and depth in this backfield. Those guys just got to put all there on the field, man, and, and make some plays. All right. Um, that's pretty much the game status for Ravens versus Browns. Uh, who's out, who's not, who's playing. That's it right there. If anything changes, I'll obviously I'll let you guys know, man. Um, so that's it for the video. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Y'all have a beautiful day. I'm out.